Hello there. It is 2018. It's our first trip out this year and we are somewhere new. Um, last season of fishing in the UK was at Winton's and this year we have joined a syndicate not that far from Winton's. It's called uh, White Cottage Lake and as you can see the lake is behind me. So first morning, Gary's not even here, so I set up and I've cast out and I've got two rods on the go. I can can use three, but I've got two at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's lovely, the sun's out, it is um, mid-May and it's my first trip. So if you haven't noticed in the video for a little while, that's why. So yeah, great. We are here in Swim, it's, this is Back Bay 2. The Back Bay 1 is just behind me, we'll have a look at that's where Gary's going to go when he eventually turns up. Then in two weeks time we're back again in the same swim so you know they're only a few yards so it, it makes life easier to be get our head around it so yeah great 2018 it's our, fir our first trip um to the rest of the year um we are in june we are going to etang de landes in france so gary and me will be there for the whole week and then back at the end of uh, the year in fact in 2019 in january early january we're back off to thailand and i am fishing mics at eft again so we're there for three days we're also going somewhere new we are trying um palm tree lagoon um just just for a couple of hours um out of bangkok so yeah my friend colin and me we've got that to ourselves so the whole lake is um to ourselves at uh, palm tree there's there's a he, colin's done really well there. he's got a lot of fish and there's some really big fish in there as well so looking forward to that very much so that's to the end of the year so tang the land is coming up soon but for now um, in the UK this is where we're going to be this season White Cottage so yeah great let's see what we can do so Gary will be here soon and um, this is our first uh, trip out guys so yeah great let's see if we can get anything it's all a bit real real learning curve this, this is if I get anything complete bonus um, but the sun's out oh yeah we're fishing so yeah great stuff good start to 2018 well probably about six o'clock now in the evening on the, the first day and uh, no fish yet, um, didn't expect any. Just getting, trying to find my spots and that. Where I am, I'm actually, there's a set of lily pads and reeds in the far distance. I've only, I'm only fishing two or so at the moment, trying to get my spots, but I'm very slowly. But the, the set of lily pads there, I'm to the right of them and to the left of them. Got a wafter and a PVO bag. To the left on a Ronnie rig on the right, so I've, I've walked around and thrown a few handfuls of boilies out and uh, yeah that's it for the night, the rods can sit there so uh, no need to bring them in again, hopefully I'm, the presentation is spot on so no need to mess around with it so uh, yeah that's where that's where I am for tonight, sun's out, lovely evening and Gary is here so we wander around, have a look at his swim, see so this is back bay two so we can see the fellow next door. All right, this is a uh, back bay one. Gary's behind me. At the moment, there's rumblings about incompetence and casting. So we'll get to that in a minute before we see the legend of carp fishing. But Gary is fishing. Actually, I'll go back to the left again. I know the sun's in the camera, so it might be too good. But there's a channel to the left there that takes you into the back pond. Apparently, that's a good place to put a bait. And as you see, right in front of us set of uh, pads, always always a good target, and the far margin going down into into my water, which are, which are blind as if I go down there. So this is uh, Mr. Sea Swim, so here he is. I will say the legend of carp fishing. Here's his beard and there he is. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. There was uh, say so there was rumours and mumblings just a few minutes ago about incompetence and casting, so we're not allowed our bait boats here, so, yeah, so not you, either you should, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we'll get to them in a minute, so yeah, so here we are, first night, and uh, yeah, he's just about ready to cast his baits out for the evening, so I won't put a video on him. No. <laughs> so you're glad about that. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Well, first morning, and uh, no fish last night. Um, stick with the two rods where I was uh, down the far end by them pads. But yeah, no, a uh, couple of liners. Really cold last night. Went down to four degrees uh, from mid-May, nearly uh, nearly June. That was a cold night, but yeah, all a learning curve. So first trip. 
been watching the water and everything so and Gary who's down we go to East Tarleton rigs let's sneak up on the have a look at his rigs The master rig clinic, man. What is it we're tying today, Mr. C? We are tying a KD rig. KD rig. All right. Simple KD rig. Single. There she is. And the bait. The bait is Nutra bait. I know what it is because I brought it. There you go. BFM big fish, big fish mix, krill and cranberry on the KD rig. We test uh, Mr. Creswell. What, what does KD stand for, Mr. C? Keith Dorset. No, Kenny. Nearly. Yeah, that's that, actually, that's quite impressive. I, yeah. I was expecting you to have absolutely no idea. Crumbs. He's been reading up. God help us. Yeah. Blimey. Miracles never, never cease. I actually, did a bit of research. Did a bit of research. Crumbs. Rather than just trying to fish like I used to 40 years ago. Now, yeah. excellent. I'm going to get the Avon Mark IV out with her. So yeah, as we saw the swim yesterday, um, Gary was fishing the far bank. After a few efforts to uh, nail the far bank, much to it, is it, there was even bad language at one stage when it didn't quite reach. Uh, even when it was on the cliff, when it fell short, you know, it was blasphemy. And a couple of times it was disgusting. Going over. So yeah, lovely. It's a lovely day. Sun's out. Keep watching the water. Trying to learn everything. See if we can get something. Well, it's uh, Saturday now, about um, half five, I think. And uh, yeah, still going. Still haven't had any any fish, Gary or me. Um, I'm still down towards the the lily pads and out towards the reeds. I've got a bottom bait and a PV, small PVO bag on one rod and a little white Ronnie rig pop-up uh, sent from hell on the other. So it's, um, yeah, still trying. Still only got the two rods. I mean, I know we can use three, so, uh, but sometimes we work, I work harder with two at the moment. And uh, until I get the hang of it, not until I get the hang of it, until I find the spots, um, sometimes less, less uh, lines in the water is better. So, uh, yeah. We're sticking with that. It's going to be a hopefully it's going to be a bright evening. Um, might get cold like it did last night, but yeah, never mind. So yeah, Gary's still working away in Bat Bay One, and um, like I said earlier in the video, we're back in about two or three weeks' time. So um, if you see us, come and say hello and uh, tell us uh, anything you know about the lake. I mean, just because we do videos, <laughs> I've said it before, it doesn't mean no great deal about fishing it's just a member of video camera who's enjoyed doing it and now someone's put, put them on YouTube so yeah if you see us come and say hello point out where we can go anything uh, any spots and that's all the learning curve on the new water so yeah great it's been, it's been enjoyable be absolutely we would top it off if one of us could get one I don't mind if it's Gary or me on our first first trip out I think that would be a right bonus so but we've already you know even being here for like 30 odd hours no 36 hours you know more from what we did when we first came so it's all a learning just building up the knowledge of the swim so yeah great let's see if we can get anything it's a lovely evening fish now would be brilliant well sunday morning no fish again last night um yeah another cool night i don't think it's quite so cold last night maybe it'd help when i got inside the sleeping bag but yeah so we're down in gary swim and uh, it's all quiet actually there's nobody else on the lake this morning so we've got it to ourselves so yeah first trip we've got a couple maybe a couple of hours max left the conditions are good so you know eight o'clock or so in the morning can you would think that's it's a prime target but yeah but odds on really we we might not nab ones but as we said we're back in a couple of weeks and we've learned a learned a few things and is the, the legend of fishing morning is, um, uh, yeah, a few things we learnt really. Uh, obviously, the lake's silty. We knew that. It's probably uh, we know that now. Um, not bring so much. Not bring so much stuff. I tried to find down. And there's quite a walk around this. And cut down on my gear as well. Um, our pop-ups. We've got our 60 mil pop-ups weren't big enough to pop up our Ronnie rig. That was a 
well, we had loads of pop ups, but they didn't work. And uh, you need to get your lead system sorted. The Angle Tech one, yeah. don't use the size uh, 8 cord one, so they don't quite work with that. But yeah, it's been a pleasant weekend here. That is now 30 nights on the trot. 30 nights? Without a carp. Blimey O'Reilly, well, I can't quite quite say the same. Yeah, I'm doing alright for cat, I'm doing alright for any, every other species, Arabima doing well in Thailand, catfish, but carp are eluding me as well. So yeah, we, uh, you know, we're going to have to work on this little lake, it could be a tricky little lake, we knew that, but uh, yeah, nice little challenge really, so we, we go away from here, have a regroup, have a rethink and come back. Just because you don't catch it doesn't mean to say you've done anything wrong at all, it's just the way it is, fishing. Fishing is not always simple, or it certainly isn't when we do it. So yeah, this is probably the end, unless we know one before we go. And the next entry to this video will be when we're back in three weeks' time, in the same swims. And uh, whether we swap over, I think Gary's quite keen to stay in this one. So yeah, no way. So we will be back in three weeks' time. Before, as I said in the opening uh, shot, before we head off to France to attain the landers. So... Yeah, nice one guys. A continental blank. Continental blank, mm. Well, hello there. We are back. So it's about two or three weeks since we were last here where uh, Gary and me fished exactly the same swims. And yeah, we, did, we didn't catch on that 40 hours. So we're back again for another 48 hours. Um, for, it's Friday afternoon now, or midday. Gary will be joining me in a couple of hours. I've just got the rods out and um, it's quite bright day a little bit of wind which is okay conditions look, look bad it's not not red out it's probably about 17 degrees it, it's comfortable um so yes yeah, since, since last time um actually at the moment i'm not doing a great deal i've got a ronnie on one on, on, a, on a white little white pop-up um a, a sweeter one this time um <coughs> i've got a, a wafter on it on the other rig a um, slightly bigger wafter gone for the 18 mil and I've got a few other thing, few things to try over the weekend. Um, I've changed, just, it's probably irrelevant, but I've gone for the lead, lead system. I've gone to the angle tech, which Gary was trying last time. I wanted to give that a try rather than a quarter lead setup. Set up, so um, give that a bash. Um, we've got a um, helicopter rig to try. I mean, reading up about silt, and I, I haven't really gone into the helicopter rigs much before. So, um, yeah, everybody suggested helicopter, and it makes sense. So we've got that to try over the weekend and uh, yeah and get ready for two weeks time for uh, attend the landers in, in france so yeah lo lovely afternoon no rain is due hopefully so a couple of things to think about from last time obviously actually and quite pretty rightly so when you don't catch um I spend more time thinking about fishing and what i could have done if you just turn up and you're catching it, it just it comes easy so most of your thought is actually unfortunately when you don't catch so not enough, enough waffle let's see what happens i'll give you a show of the lake again i'm in the same sort of places towards the reeds and the lilies pan round Yep, I'm out there, there's the rods, so yeah, another weekend, let's see, let's see if we can get one this time, lovely. Well, it's probably about uh, 7 o'clock on a Friday evening, it's been a lovely afternoon the last couple of hours, um, no fish, Gary's here as well, so yeah, I've still got um, my bait out by the, by the rushes out there. And also I have put, I've still got two rods, I have put a bait just to the left of the island. This afternoon two or three top down, they come straight up, come, uh, you know, head and shoulders straight out. And uh, I could see them under the surface as well, and there's quite a bit of a surface uh, distortion, but they were swimming around, so they, they were there. So I, I put some bait up, and, you know, why not? You see them fish from me, eh? so that's what I'm doing, so yeah. But yeah, quiet on the lake, lovely evening. Still trying hard, Let's see, if we, see if we can get one. Morning, Saturday morning. Um, yeah, no fish last night, so yeah, that's uh, with our last trip, that's three nights. So yeah, it's proving a, a tricky little venue. So anyway, I got out this morning and uh, there's Gary's swim, couldn't find him, but unfortunately, it's been too much for the old boy. It's been 30 nights now, and uh, you know I've had to call the police. Um, actually, I mean if you're a bit shocked with things, probably best not to watch. But uh, I have found him. Last seen in his waders. I 
think it's too much for the old boy. He couldn't take it. Oh, hang on. Perhaps it's not on. Perhaps it's not him. I thought he was hanging himself. No, he hasn't done it, but we feel like it. Here he is, look. As I always say, the legend of carp fishing, of legendary status now. I'm not sure you can be called a carp fisherman if you never actually catch one. No, there it is now. We thought he'd gone, I got up, all I could see was his boots hanging from the tree. I thought it was too much for him. Even shaving off the beard even, hasn't, yeah, even, hasn't appeased the He's even the had a shave pots. and uh, it's still, still no good too. Yeah, today it's, it's pretty good conditions today. It's a little bit of breeze, it's relatively cool. So all we can do is just keep trying to figure what we can do to unlock, unlock the secret of this place. So yeah, we're, we're sticking with it guys and I'm pleased to see the old boy was, uh, he's still with us because when I saw them boots hanging from the tree I thought he'd finally done it but we're, we're still, we live to fight another day. Oh, shit. Saturday uh, probably about five or five, half five and uh, yeah conditions you would say were perfect. I mean. Bit of a slight breeze, nothing much. It's, I wouldn't say it's overcast, but it's uh, certainly not red hot sun. So you know, for, the, for early June, it could be worse than this. So yeah, rigs are back out towards uh, the rushes and out towards the lily pads as well. So yeah, still uh, still trying to fiddle around with the rigs. Oh, that's delivery. Oh, oh. Mr. Creswell has bought something in. Oh, here we go, I'll show you what it is. Pork pie, cheers mate. Alright, yeah, so we earlier on I had a bit of a revamp with the rigs. Doing my tank testing, I wasn't happy with the way the, the rig was... See, I don't like the corder stuff, where is it? I know I always prefer the gardener hook link. This coat of braid I'm using, but I never liked it when I used it before, but this called it in trap or curly as anything it was even though I had a couple of uh, shots on there or the lead drops but it, it was still it was still useless so when I was tank testing it was all curly so oh, that's got to go off that went and get a new one out steamed it straight I and mean, it's sitting a bit better now I mean yeah need to, in a way I mean that the, the last foot of your fishing tackle was the most important so if I didn't have that right all these fancy rods and bivvies and alarms You've got to get that last bit right. So anyway, I'm confident the rigs have gone out. I'm in good places. I've, I've put a little bit of bait around them. I see a guy has caught over in the bench. A fish has been coming out. So not much more I can do. Where I was to the to the left yesterday, where I saw fish and left it last night. Um, yeah, obviously nothing because I haven't caught. Brought it in. No problem when I brought the rig in. Rig was wasn't tangled or anything, so that was fishing all night. As was my Ronnie out towards the other side. So. All you can be doing is putting it in the right places or what you think are the right places and hopefully your rig is uh, presented correct if even if my this useless end trap is going to go in the bin um, that's all you can do really oh well hey oh this is it so saturday saturday evening and uh yeah sticking with it here down at white cottage nice to be here it's been a, been a nice day so but you know a fish would really uh <laughs> it would do wonders for the confidence of both Gary and me. Even if Gary won as one of us, just to get one. Sticking with it, guys. Oh, hello, guys. So, um, yeah, that, that's our um, our first uh, couple of trips to White Vane done. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, no fish. Um, this morning when we uh, woke up early, that the fish were definitely spawning in front of us. Um, in, in the island under the willow, they were really... I thought it was ducks at first because it was so noisy, but then I could see fish around the island. So, um, yeah, that didn't help. So... Not an excuse, but yeah, there we go. So our first, our first, term, that's four nights now, and, and nothing between Gary and me fishing the two back bays, back bay one and two. So, yeah, and if you see us, in, if you see us next time we come, give us some advice. So, yeah, I think well, it was a, it was a good learning, a good learning thing for us. I and mean, so I, I looked at my rigs that they they I fine tuned them a bit. I'm happy with them now. I mean, I, no, no big deal. I'm just trying to keep things straighter. And uh, yeah, maybe I need to get closer to the pads and that when I'm when I'm casting so yeah it's been an enjoyable couple of days shame we didn't get one but 
yeah we live and learn and uh, we will be back but just for in two weeks time we are off to attain the landers as i said before so that'll be our next outing we're desperate to catch something we need to catch something there so break this uh, slight bar barren one we've been on but yeah then after that we'll be back at white cottage for another go so yeah if you see us at white cottage point us in the right direction any tips come and say hello we're reasonably friendly reasonably but we're okay so come and say hello and uh, yeah see you guys cheers